Hello everyone, uh, today I will be doing a uh, Cinema 4D tutorial. I will be creating uh, glossy text. So this is my first Cinema 4D tutorial and I hope you enjoy it. So open up your Cinema 4D and uh, go to render, render settings and make sure the output is a 1280 by 720 to make that HD effect or uh, resolution. And go ahead and exit. Uh, and then uh, what you want to do is go to MoGraph and insert a text object. And we're going to align the text to the metal. Break the map. Uh, make the depth around 80. We're going to change the text to velocity. And make the font. Choose whatever font you want. Choose freshman. Freshman font. Okay. And go to caps. Start fill a cap. And with a fill cap too, and make sure the steps is 10, and the rate is 2, the same to the end. Once that is done, uh, create new material by double clicking here. Specular. I mean, uh, reflection. Make sure the uh, texture is uh, Fresnel. Mix. This, make sure the mix strength is around uh, thirty percent. Go to specular. Make sure the width is uh, around uh, 15 to 20 percent, and make sure the height is around 80 to 90. Just exit out of that, and uh, what you want to do is just add this to your text. So just drag it over, click and hold, and drag it over to your text directly to your text. So that is done. Um, this is optional, it's completely optional, but I'm gonna create a new uh, material. I'm just gonna add in another color for the outline of the text. Complexion. Same for 5%. And strength is 30. Specular 15 and 20. 8 and 90. If you want the uh, if you want the outline to be pink, you're gonna have to go to selection and type in R1. R1 just uh, for the front, and R2 if you want it to be on the back. See how not, uh, the back there's like nothing on it. Noth no outline, but if you want an outline on the back, drag it over to the back and. Uh, Type in R2. And there we 
we have it. So now, um, it is not so glossy since there is a no light, so you'll be you'll not you're not going to see any uh, glossy effect to the text because there is no light. So now, what you want to do is uh, go to uh, MoGraph. I mean, uh, to this little square. Click and hold and insert a plane. And we're gonna make a new material. Make sure, I mean, uh, just check in uh, luminance. Let's drag it over to the plane. And now for the plane, uh, go to MoGraph Cloner Object. This will make uh, duplicates of plane or copies. So drag and click plane and uh, drag it over to cloner object. Go to cloner object and go to object tab and make sure the mode is uh, grid array. We're trying to make a little classroom lighting effect. And make sure the count is four and we're gonna have like one layer of it and we're gonna make it four by four and then we're gonna make this so I didn't mean to do a 1200 I meant to do 1500 I was confused I was like oh so once you uh, put the size 1500 and uh, the third one 1500, we have this effect for this setting. We're just gonna rise the light. lighting effect reflection so make it plot it'll make it like the gloss effect and now you want you now what you want to do is go to render go to uh, render settings go to effect Make sure you go to effect and global illumination. I already have it selected. But make sure the GI mode is IR plus QMC and gamma is uh, 2.2. Go to ingredients cache. Make sure the stochastic samples is low and record density is low. And you know, go to anti aliasing and make sure that it's on best and level is 2x2, two two. general is full render, output 1280 by 720 current frame, save it to uh, whatever if I click here, and uh, format is PNG, and that's basically it. And that's basically it, thanks for watching, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and most importantly subscribe. I do hold monthly giveaways, so it's there's benefits for uh, you subscribing to my channel. I do weekly tutorials and um, monthly giveaways, and yeah. So I hope you enjoyed my first ever Cinema 4D Cinema 4D tutorial. Uh, I'll be doing uh, more Cinema 4D tutorials in the, in the near future. 
and I'll be I'll probably be making intros and host uh, giveaways intro giveaways and all that and yeah so I hope you enjoyed my first ever tutorial my cinema 4d tutorial and I'll see you later Hey guys, if you like the wonderful music playing in the background by Robot Science, go ahead and hit up my description box for the link.